Hey guys, this is Rez. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about weights. And this is a really useful uh, attribute that you need to use to make your things kind of look always the same. Okay? So, inside linear layouts, when you change display or when you change sizes or etc., most of the times your linear display will not look the same. Sometimes it will get off the border, sometimes it wouldn't have the same amount, etc, etc. Uh, or if you, let's say you rotate to landscape or you go back to portrait, it would just screw up. By the way, do not look at the example I'm showing you right now. This was from the last video, which is a frame layout. And anyway, going back to this uh, weight system, okay? We need to go back to a linear system. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the frame layout back to linear layout All right um, there's again an error saying hey wrong orientation why don't you mention the orientation so let's take out these two things which doesn't belong to linear and put in orientation oh, I can't spell <laughs> orientation there we go and this time we're gonna make it horizontal for this example all right if you notice by the way when we move from frame layout to linear layout my text doesn't appear over it anymore it's being pushed out right so you know that's not the greatest thing anyway so what we're gonna do is let's make a couple buttons right well let's forget about image button for a while let's just delete these actually okay so let's say I wanted to have yeah, okay, I got a good idea. Let's let's create three buttons. Okay. And for now, let's make it just wrap content. Wrap content. We'll change that later. And write in this text. Um, I don't know. Um, let's see. Let's put the text as uh, my first part or whatever. Okay. And then I want another one. Button. Again, wrap content for now doesn't matter. We'll change it in a bit. Text. Second. All right. And let's add a third one. Or maybe let's do it for. Ah, uh, come on. IntelliSense going gay. Anyway, um, so text. Let's say third in this part. And one last one. Fourth. All right, so I have four things distributed pretty well, right? And, you know, I'm just going to name them. This is, well, my first part of the show. I don't know. So as this gets bigger, it's going to push out everything else out of my frame. And this is because the wrap content kind of forces those, right? So again, if you remember correctly, when you use the attribute layout here, it's telling, hey, my linear layout, take care of this, that I could wrap all my content, which is my first part of the show, into it somehow. So for the linear layout, for the layout general, when you tell it that, it says, well, basically, I'm going to push everything to the side because it doesn't know borders. So it doesn't really understand that there's like, well, it does understand, but it doesn't really get that the user can't see after this. It doesn't think of that, right? Because you kind of you could have made it being uh, scrollable or being draggable or whatever you could. So it gives you a lot of liberty, and with that liberty comes a lot of issues or headaches that you could have. In this case, it would be well, I just pushed off everything else outside. Okay. So rather than saying, "Hey, we're gonna give these guys wrap content," we're gonna actually give it a weight. Okay. And the linear layout out of the all the weight it could sustain. Let's say if he has a maximum of 100% from left to right, okay, that's the total weight. And if he gives 50 to that, this will be allocated 50 all time. And these will be allocated smaller amounts, right? So, first thing we need to do is to come on our, um, on our linear layout and give it a weight sum. So this is the total amount of weight it could have. 
So currently we have four things. Let's just give it four, and we'll play around at, with it as we go down. Now, if you're going to give it a weight, you should start using the weight. So we can't really use this layout width and layout height, because if we say wrap content, it's going to force it, rather than using the weight. So here we could either write zero, okay, we don't really care. Um, and let's just see what the error is. Suspicious size, ah, that's interesting. So even the Android Studio kind of figures out, hey, what are you doing here? You put it to zero, that doesn't make sense, right? Um, let's see, first we're going to add our weight. Let's just type weight. So you see, it's another layout thing. And we're going to give it a size of 1, right? The height, we don't really care. The text, we're going to keep it. Let's do the same thing over here. 0 dp. And we're going to give it a weight of 1. So over here, we don't care. And we're going to give it a weight of 1. And lastly, 0 dp. By the way, notice as I'm adding more weights, these things are getting bigger. It's kind of understanding how much uh, space you should take for each weight type of thing. So before, because of the other ones being a uh, wrap content, it kind of misses it the first few, right? So if we go back, I'm doing a bit just to show. See, it gets smaller and smaller because these ones that are wrap content are taking a lot of space. Okay. So let's go back. So if you're going to use weight, uh, a good practice would be to use weight all over inside that linear layout. Now if we look here, you'll notice that all four of them are equally spaced. Right? That's the cool part. However, something happened and my first part is the important part. I want more space to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the total weight to 5. So you see there's like an empty space right now not being used. And I'm just going to increase this one to 2. So this, guys, if you look here, this forces my layout or inside my design to always take 2 amount of space while each of these will take 1 amount of space. And it doesn't matter where you are, it would always take the same amount of space. So let's, let's go back on the design. looks much better when we have a full screen here. And let's just small make this smaller. So we have this, which is currently, forget about this button right now, but it's currently divided equally except for this part, which takes two zones, right? It should be five zones, and the fifth should be like here in the middle, right? If we switch it first orientation, see, it would always take the same amount. It would take two, and these would take one, right? If we change devices, I don't know, I'm selecting randomly. Again, same thing. That's TV. This is a Nexus uh, 5X. Let's go C. Um, right? As I keep changing, it's always going to stay the same amount. One, the first part is going to take two spots or two, two fifth of the screen, while the other three will take one fifth each, right? So let's try another generic phone. Let's try a 7.0 thing. Again, same thing. So this kind of forces it to always stay the same look and feel, right? As close as possible. Okay, so in the next example, let's try to make something that makes sense with this, all right? So we're going to use weights again, but this time we're going to make it an application where we could actually see where this is going to be used and, you know, have a better sense of why we should use this, all right? See you guys in the next video. It's Rez. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever you feel like. Cheers.